my name is Faith Howell and I will be showing you how to create a board using Discovery Education's board builder tool today. This is a new addition to Discovery Education and it is absolutely awesome. So I'm logged in as a student right now. I created the student Isaac Hansen because he's in my favorite band ever, Hansen. Loved him since eighth grade. So I don't think he'll mind his name being used today. So this is Isaac Hansen's Discovery Education page. This is what your students will see when they log in. If you've used Discovery Education before, you'll notice that it's a little bit different from what you're used to. Some new things, games, um, blogs, things put in there that maybe you have not seen. All we're going to work with today is the board builder. So when the students log in, if they want to look at their board builder or create a new board, they click right up here on board builder and it will take them straight to their board builder. If you look down here, you will see we don't have any boards yet. So once they save them, they'll be saved down at the bottom. Now you can start building a board completely from scratch. Some students will want to do that, but the easiest thing is to start with a template. You have ocean, history, and notebook waiting for you. Now if you're not sure what this board we're talking about is, here is a sample board. This is one about Jamestown. You'll see the student has either created a model or taken a picture of a model of Jamestown and written about it off to the side. This is like a little push pin, note taking kind of looking board. You have the middle talking about the colony, you have a video embedded, and attachments as well. So this is a great place to keep information or present information. My sixth grade ELA PLC intends to use this as the cap of their research project. Everything's going to be right here. So we're going to start with the notebook theme because it's my favorite. You enter the title. So we're going to do ours about Cleopatra. So we're going to enter that in. If you want to enter a description, you can. And you just hit continue and you have your board. This is going to ask you where you want to save it. So students can create a new folder here or they can just save it to their content. So here we have our board. The first thing you do is to enter a headline tag. So we'll just call this Cleopatra and save it. You can also change the background, the design, if you want it to look differently. You want it to look like a post-it, like a banner, like a Polaroid. You can do all of these things, make it different, just for your headline. So that's about Cleopatra. If you look over here to your left, you will see the editor tools. Everything you need to add or design your board is all over here under the editor tools. They are all super easy to use, so don't worry if you want to go in and design things. If you want to change the theme, you click there. If you want to go back, you just click the back arrow. You can undo things if you don't like what you do. So. Do not stress about using the board builder tool. Since you are using a template, it already has some board builder pieces built in for you. You can delete these if you want to. If I decide I don't want this video file, I just hit the trash and it disappears. So maybe I don't want those. Maybe I want to move these up, get things, move them around. Easy to do. Just move things up, drag by the top little bar here and move things around to where you want them. No big deal at all. So if you want to add a photo, video, or audio that is media, if you want to add a new one, you click over here, add items, media. We'll add this box right here. Now you can upload from your computer, so if students take a photo or create a video or create a podcast, they can upload it from their own items. Or you can search Discovery Education. Also at the bottom of your Discovery Education bar, where you keep track of your quick list, anything you have in your quick list, you can just drag and drop into this media spot. We're going to search for a video. Let's look for one about Cleopatra and Mark Antony. So here come our results. You'll have them all right here, any that you want to look at. You can watch the video segment. Now, something that you may not know, we're using this for a research project. So we want students to use proper citations. 
in Discovery Education, if you click on details, you will get those proper citations. Really super handy when you're looking at creating any sort of research. So we'll watch the video, see if we like it. We just X out of it, close it right out. We want to add that in. When we're ready, we can add as many as we want, multiple videos if we want to. Then we click Add Selected Resources. And there it is, added right into your board. If you hover over the video or the picture, and you click right here, you can add a caption to the video. So you can ask students to put maybe their citation underneath. Or perhaps you want to ask students to summarize the video in the caption, you can do that. The text boxes are really self-explanatory. If you've worked with Microsoft Word, you're not going to have a problem. You just type in information. Then you can bold it. All the things you would do in Microsoft Word, make it bold, put it in italics, underline it, you can do that. You can make it a list. You can make it a numbered list. You can insert a link right there. You can put it in the center, to the left, to the right. All of those things, easy to do. Just like you would work with Microsoft Word. Same for the background, if you want to design it, you can do that here however you choose to design it. It's really pretty neat, gives you a lot of autonomy. Down here, if you want to upload files from your computer, so let's say a student actually writes a research paper and you want them to include that physical research paper in their board, all you have to do is upload it. So you click on Upload. I don't have any files here. They're not queued up to go in, so I want to add them. The first thing that pops up is My County's Course Guide for 6th Grade Social Studies. So we're just going to add that right on in there. Start the upload. It's already 100% done. It's adding it to the board. You see this lovely little green arrow here. I mean, green check mark under the arrow. It's been a long day. So it's right there, ready to go. You just click done. And it is ready to go right there. I don't need this. I'm not going to put that information in. Anything you want to add here, we've done the headline, we've done the text box, we've added media, we've looked at attachments. You know how to do all of that. The rest just comes down to design. Now, we are finished with our board, and we are ready to show it to the world. We can preview it right here to see what it's going to look like, this finished piece. Looks good. If a teacher wants it printed, you can receive a print version, especially if there's no videos or attachments. If they're just creating a board with text and pictures, printing is super awesome. You click here to save it. I named it, I described it, I can tag it if I want to, I can decide which um, category it belongs in, what grade level this is appropriate for, and this comes in handy if you as a teacher are going to allow these boards to be shared to other students on Discovery Education so they'll be able to find it. So then you'll save it. Now here's the part you want to make sure the kids do. They've saved it, that's great. You want to be able to see it and comment on it. So you want them to share it with you. This is me, and I want Isaac Hansen to share his board with me. So he will hit share, and it will now come to me. It's been shared successfully. Now my board is right underneath. It's been submitted. It tells me that it's been submitted so that I can look at it. Now, we're going to log in as me really quickly so that you can see how easy it is to get to this information once it's sent to you. You log into your Discovery Education, here we are in my profile, so simple, Classroom Manager, Student Boards, right there. All the student boards that have been sent to you will be waiting for you. So here we have Isaacs, we're going to review his, and this is the view you're going to see as a teacher. So you can look at the board, click on things, take a look at it. When you're ready to review it, you click Teacher Review. You can give feedback that only the student can see. You can share the project or you can say, no, don't share this project. It's not ready. 
You can share it with people at your school, the district, or the entire Discovery Education community. If it's good enough, you might want to share it with everyone so other students can look at the really nice project that your student has created. If you have any questions about Board Builder or any other Discovery Education services, you can email me at faithhowell22, all one word, at gmail.com, or follow me on Twitter at H-O-W-E-L-L-Y-W-O-O-D, Howellywood. And I hope to hear from you soon, and I hope this video was helpful, and that you will find a way to use Discovery Education Board Builder in your classroom.